Good day, friends. It is me, HL Montec, and I'm back with another quick video about the A10M. My friends, today we're going to talk about this crazy little snail. So let's get cracking. Friends, this was posted to Facebook, and you see there's that crazy gradient near the head of the snail. It was not printed with a mix. The shell was printed one color while the body was printed the other, and then that gradient texture was kind of like the snail using itself as its own purge tower. How crazy is that? All right, friends, so this is the original part on Thingiverse, and this is where it was made as a multi-material remix. I will put a link to this in the video or in the video description. Right now, let's download it and let me show you how to set it up. I always like to download mine separate, and then I've got a Dropbox location where I store all my 3D modeling prints so that way they show up at school or wherever I am 3D printing at that time. All right, so now that that's done, you can see this person did this on a Prusa. Theirs is quite large. Uh, mine was really, really small. I shrunk mine to 25%. And they obviously did use a purge tower because they've got single colors. In Kira, let's bring those parts in. First, I'm going to bring in the body. And notice that little critter is huge. So the first thing I did was scale them. And earlier, I chose 25%. This time, I'm going to choose 35% because uh, that affects how the lines show up on his head because the longer the print takes, the different those look. And then also, I'm using 0.3 millimeters, so that'll change it as well. I'm going to set the location to 0, 0, and 0. So now that drops in. And then I'm also going to check my preferences quick. You want to make sure you don't have models kept apart and you don't have automatically dropped a build plate because you won't be able to place this next piece where it needs to go. So I'm good and I'm going to hit open and let's find that other part of the snail. There's the shell. I'm going to do the same thing where I click on them and I choose a 0 zero and I'll change the height in a second and then I'm gonna put that same 35 percent and press enter when I go back to move you can see he's way up in the air I'm gonna just type two millimeters and press enter and then this I had to double check by moving him to the right location because zero zero is not exactly where that shell needs to be so as I rotate around I can just see that it has to be there then I'm going to come back up here to the front, and it looks like it needs to push a little ways that way. And then I'm going to lower it as well. Pull it over. And when you're finally happy, then you are good to print. I'm going to change to my second color. So once again, I've got white on the bottom, and I've got red for the shell. And it is on its own after an hour and 51 minutes gonna turn that into the crazy little snail that we just saw at the start of the video real quick let me show you the settings i'm still doing 0.3 layers i'm using 20 for the infill i'm gonna back my infill to 10 because i don't need this to be solid printing temperature 195 60 print speed 60 i do want cooling fans on i do skirt four lines and notice no dual extrusion no prime tower I'm just letting the head be the prime tower as it switches and that's what makes the cool gradient so let's go all right so here are the two of them uh, that one was at 25 percent and this one was at 35 percent you can see that both have that crazy purge tower effect as you go around from side to side as the filament was switching colors. Alrighty friends, so in the end, I kind of like the 25% better. It cut the print down almost by half, and it also uh, had longer of the different colors on the different layers. I mean, there's probably a magic time for this process whenever you're trying to use part of the shape as the purge tower to get that sweet gradient. Um, it was pretty cool, and also I think if I rotated around, the inside of the face would have had more of it instead of the outside, but that's just something I saw once I saw that it was finished because the back of it was the one that turned out better 
Alrighty, friends, make sure you keep an eye on Facebook. That was where I found this post, and it was pretty awesome. And, of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.